One. Starbeacus is the god of Starbucks and what everyone loves, coffee! What makes him special is that coffee comes out of his right nipple. <laughs> as, he, as he turns his stomach different ways, he produces different flavors. Cream comes out of his left nipple. He's an odd child. In fact, he was born from a coffee bean. No one knew where it came from. It was like all of a sudden, BOOM! There it was. Seven days later, it hatches and popped out a little coffee baby. <laughs> he was shocked and thought he was mortal because he didn't know how about the stuff that shot out of his nipple. <laughs> the Zeus made the decision to roll the coffee baby down a rocky hill. Starbeacus went down the hill, bumping over rocks until he finally came to a stop down near a shore. He stopped rolling in what is known today as Seattle, Washington. <laughs> there he shot three tons of coffee and whipped cream everywhere. He made muffins shoot out of his back. <laughs> then he started a coffee shop and named it after himself Starbucks. The coffee shop had become popular, but Starbeacus got greedy. He wanted more customers, so he went behind the gods' back and sold coffee to mortals. He started by standing over them and squeezing coffee and whipped cream all over them. <laughs> Suddenly, it was raining coffee and large proportions of cream came tumbling down on helpless mortals. <laughs> there was mass panic, but then someone decided to try it. Then the others tried it as well. They realized that they loved it. They prayed for more. Starbeacus sent signals to small groups of mortals to start their own coffee shop, and it soon became a franchise. <laughs> Zeus was not pleased with the fact that Starbeacus had interacted with mortals. He punished Starbeacus by giving him eternal youth and shrinking him small enough to fit into a jar. The sun then carried the jar deep below the ocean surface. Mortals did benefit from Starbeacus' actions, though. The coffee which he introduced to them continues to be very, very popular. <laughs> <laughs>